gamers and game that's what is going on my name is tenek127 and welcome to some crazy inception because i am officially recording myself recording a video which is really freaking weird but anyway guys um i wanted to do something a little bit different today give you guys a tutorial on how i make my intros and outros you know those super long ones that people used to used to drive people mad that were like 20 and 30 seconds long well as you guys can see I dropped doing that but you know I still make you know pretty cool outros and stuff like that and I'm telling you now if you're looking for something you know on the quality of my current intro you need to hit up sketchy straight up because you're not going to be able to do things like that on share factory but I can show you some pretty cool things you know teach you guys you know a few of my tricks and stuff like that because I've made some pretty decent intros I'm happy with my intros and outros and my latest outro I love it so I'm going to show you guys for starters how I did something this complex on Share Factory, and let you guys take a quick sneak peek at it. All right, now as you guys can see, obviously there's music in this video, so I have to be very, very careful. I'm going to show you guys how this whole process starts. You want to start by going to new project, obviously, duh to neck, but you want to keep working your way down. Find your simple video clips. That outro, that outro is actually made with nothing but this stupid clip right here repeating itself over and over with a bunch of um, transitions on it and color switches. In case you guys can't tell. So what you do is you take a simple game clip and you know if you want to make things more you know cinematic anime-ish what you do is you record the cutscenes in your favorite games that's what I do like on um, Fantasy Star a lot of my intros I've used I took on um, Fantasy Star's opening cutscene and just sliced it into pieces that's really all I did but I took this clip and I layered it over itself three times so it would be roughly 15 seconds long as you guys see my outro is 24 seconds you know so I obviously added some time onto that but that was really all I did and then after I did that I went to options here went to export went to export the gallery which I'm not going to do here in the video because that takes a lot of time and then after I did that it became this which I believe is yeah this one it became this and I took as you can see I took off the um the in-game audio and stuff like that so now it's a whole file and I just added transitions between you know those three times it played well to give it a more of a cinematic look remove the game HUD you hit X where the plus sign is at the bottom you go to add layout and you put a aspect 42 by 41 ratio on there as you guys can see, more of a cinematic look already. The HUD's gone. And you can do all kinds of crazy things with that. If you take that, and, I don't know, let's say you want to add you know, a filter to it or whatever. Make it dreamy looking. Take a look at that. Changes the whole feel of it, doesn't it? Now, after I took this, I simply took it as it is here and I sliced it into multiple pieces. How you do that? You push square where you see the where you see the on um, the wrench symbol and you'll see the option for split clip. So when you scroll over you can only split to a certain segment. As you can see the option for X to split doesn't light up until after one second so you can split it in one second intervals which is a big improvement because Share Factory at once upon a time only let you split in three second intervals. So I just cut it up into a bunch a bunch a bunch of pieces. As you guys can see this clip is now split into multiple pieces. Now the reason I left this here is you're gonna notice that this first clip starts the way I made it but these other ones are different. Well since you have split this one clip into multiple clips you can now do whatever you want to each one of these clips like for example adding a different color to them. So I can make this one red. I can make that one inverted I can make this one um, neon you, you got you guys get the picture so after I did that I once again hit options went to export to gallery and this was the result I got 
Well, looks like I gotta find these in their exact order. Whoopsie daisy, added a few things I did not mean to add in there. You gotta be careful when you're picking themes too. Make sure you take out all the extra stuff that Share Factory likes to add. And as you can see, this was the result. Now as you guys can see, the problem here is I put I accidentally put my um my border on first, which is no big deal. But as you can see, it's changing the colors of the border as well. So if you run into that and you accidentally make a mistake, just put it on again. Now as you guys can see, the colors still switch out. It still does all the wild effects, but the border is the same. And from this point on, all you really do is go to Add Overlays, which is how you add letters. Scroll down to Text, and you put whatever you want on top of it. I love my subs there for all you guys you know my awesome subscribers I love my subs and here I'll tell you guys to like this video now keep in mind something share factory has a thing for nerfing sound every time you um you uh... what was I gonna say you export to gallery and convert a video it tones down the volume by about I'm gonna say 15 or 20 percent so putting your music on is absolutely the last step you want to do and this is the most important part you push X to add something go to add music now you're probably wondering you guys see all these tracks I got in here how do you add music to share factory I'm gonna tell you right here and it's real simple get a USB flash drive Make two folders in there. The first folder, call it Share Factory, exactly how Share Factory is spelled. That means Share all capital letters, Factory all lowercase letters. After you make that folder, make another folder inside Share Factory called Music, just with a capital M spelled regular. Capital M U S I C, Music. And then you just put the songs you want in there. You plug the, um, the USB flash drive into your PS4 and you go right here to USB import and you can import all the songs you have on the flash drive. It's real easy. But as you guys can see, this here was the song I used. So I take this song and what I usually do is I use the hooks to song. So I'm going to we're gonna look for the hook somewhere around here. There it is. There she is. There's that hook. We're going to slice that part off. And as you guys can see, the song starts like that. So I hit square and I go to move music and I drag the song all the way over. And after I clip this edge of the song off, clip it right there. And you know, just so it has, you know, that outro feel, I go here and fade it and fade the music out. Ah, sorry. You go to the edit section again. You go to fade out music. I let it fade for about two seconds just so you know it feels a bit more cinematic and like I said what I told y'all what Share Factory does in music so always bump up the music's volume a bit and this is the end result see it's really really simple guys I'm trust me I'm no crazy you know graphic designer or anything making intros on on share factory is easy a lot of people you know think share factory is just a really basic crappy editing tool with no with no features but if you take your gameplay really chop it up and stuff like that you can do some wild wild things with this application and it's completely free on the playstation 4 but anyway guys if y'all like this video and this video helped you be sure to give it a thumbs up and i want to thank you all so much for watching it's your boy tenek127 and please don't forget to like share and subscribe and um here's the masterpiece once again You know, by the time this video is over, you guys are going to be sick of this song. You want to know why? Play the outro. Peace out.